Hello, my name is Gerhard, or many people call me Jerry Milkey. I have just come back from New Zealand recently, and while I was there, I photographed over 70 different species of birds. I would like to share most of these with you. I will start by showing you 25 birds, which I photographed that are endemic to New Zealand. That means they are only found there. This kingfisher is only found in New Zealand. I was at Kauri Point Reserve in Waddle Downs, New Zealand, when the tide came in. And as the tide was coming in, there were two small areas that looked like islands, and they were getting smaller and smaller with the rising water. On one of those little islands, four kingfishers sat, and on the other, two more. And as the islands disappeared, they flew to the trees that would overhang the area where the water would eventually get to. The Maori name for them is Katari. And you can see the scientific name for them on this slide as well. I was on Kapiti Island, New Zealand, and I found a kararu, the New Zealand pigeon, that was drinking from this tin dish. Now, when I went over to look at the tin dish, there was almost no water in it. And I wondered, how can this bird drink when the water level is almost nil? But above this tin dish, there was a cylinder. And that cylinder was filled with rainwater. And so what I did is I opened the tap on the cylinder and filled this tin dish with water. Soon after, a weka came by. And then a bellbird decided it wanted to drink some water. After the bellbird, there was a tui. And even the North Island robin came by to bathe and drink out of the tin dish. All of these birds are endemic. Some drank from the tin, some drank, and some bathed. And finally, I photographed three kararu that came by for drinks. Let's look at these again. A kararu. The weka. The bellbird. The tui. And the North Island robin. Another endemic bird is a tom tit. This little colorful bird was photographed on the South Island. The North Island tom tit is not as colorful. This is a takahe. The takahe was believed to be extinct but it was rediscovered in a remote part of the South Island. They have multiplied since then, and today there's probably about 600 pairs, which means it's still rare, but it has made a good comeback. There are a number of parrots that are native to New Zealand. They're found nowhere else in any other country. The first one I'd like to show you is the kaka. The next one is the Kia. 
We stopped before going into Homer's Tunnel near Milford Sound, and three Kias flew to our car. One ended up on the roof, and this fellow here, he sat on our side view mirror. He was also interested in the rubber on our car. They have been known to do damage to vehicles. The red construction cones were put up on the side of the road, and in the morning, the construction people wondered who had moved them, because the tunnel was closed at night. And then they found out it was the Kias that had moved them. They are mischievous, but delightful. And one of the most beautiful endemic birds is the red-crowned parakeet. Just south of the wattle track on Tiritiri Matangi Island, I saw five of these parakeets. On Tiritiri Matangi Island, there's endemic birds that aren't found on the mainland because predators like cats and rats and opossums have been eliminated from that island. Another rare bird I photographed on this island is the brown teal. They are active at night. The New Zealand scout was found in good numbers on Lake Rotorua. Here is the male. The male has a golden eye. The female has a brown eye, and here she is. Another rare duck is the blue duck. The blue duck likes fast moving mountain streams. I photographed these blue ducks in Turangi, New Zealand, at the Tongariro River. There were three of them. And there was also a dad chick or a New Zealand grebe there. Let me go back one picture. And you can see right behind the blue duck swimming in the water, there is the New Zealand grebe or dad chick. And here is a dad chick with a baby. So far, we have looked at 15 endemic birds. Eight more, making 23, are the red-breasted dotterel, the little blue penguin, the kokako, the New Zealand pipit, the variable oyster catcher, the stitch bird, the black-billed gull, and the whitehead. And here they are, the red-breasted dotterel. The little blue penguin, the kokako, the New Zealand pipit, the variable oyster catcher. The stitch bird. There's the male, and here's the female. The black-billed gull. And the whitehead. The paradise shell duck is another bird that is unique to New Zealand. It has never been recorded elsewhere, except a few times in Australia. 
In 1950, five birds somehow made it to Australia. Maybe they were blown over the ocean by strong winds. And in December 2015, and then again in January 2016, one bird was recorded by multiple people. It was on the east coast of Australia again. And in 2016, one single bird was seen in the area of Sydney, Australia. So besides these few recordings of very few shell ducks, they've only been recorded in New Zealand. There's a female, she has a white head, and there's the male, he has a black head. Let me just go back again and show you the male and female together. They are very, very common. They are abundant in New Zealand. You see them all over the place. Similarly, the way we see mallard ducks or Canadian geese over here. I think they're quite pretty. One of my favorite New Zealand birds is the fantail. It used to be thought that it was the same species as the gray fantail in Australia, but in 2013, it was determined to be a separate species endemic to New Zealand. Sometimes when I was hiking along a trail, a fantail would follow me and come as close as, well, as close as the chickadees come in our own country. My walking probably stirs up insects that the fantails love to feed on. A video I took on my walk in Hari Hari, New Zealand, will be shown to you later as I close this presentation. So we've seen 25 endemic birds. And now let's turn our attention to birds that are native to New Zealand, but are also found in other countries. Let's begin with the albatross. I photographed the white-capped albatross, the royal albatross, and the buller's albatross. I share with you the white-capped albatross because it is my favorite. It was photographed flying over the ocean waters. Its wingspan is over two meters, which means the wingspan is greater than my height. I'm six foot four, and its wingspan is more than that. It's a beautiful bird. Another bird native to New Zealand is the great egret. They call it the white heron. We call it the great egret. I've seen great egrets in 11 countries. I've seen them in Canada, in the United States, in Mexico, the Dominican Republic, in Jamaica, in Panama, in Costa Rica, in Germany, in India, in New Zealand, and I also saw them in Australia. There are no great blue herons in New Zealand, but they have a white-faced heron, and here it is. The white-faced heron is also found in Australia. The Royal Spoonbill is another bird that is native to both New Zealand and Australia. Here is a group of them looking for food as the tide changes. Besides the endemic ducks I've already shown you, there are native ducks as well. One of my favorites is the Australasian shoveler. I photographed a mother Pacific black duck and six ducklings in Lake Waikaramoana, which is about an hour from Wairoa, where we used to live. In New Zealand, the Pacific black duck is called the gray duck.
The gray teal is another native bird to New Zealand, Australia, and Papua New Guinea. It's somewhat a drab little duck. The Eurasian coot is not only native to New Zealand, but it's also found in Europe, Australia, and Asia. And I've seen it in Switzerland, in Sweden, in the Netherlands, in Germany, in Denmark, and even in Israel. Here's one with a baby. There were no swallows in New Zealand until some welcome swallows were perhaps blown off course and somehow made it across the ocean from Australia. The first nesting pair in New Zealand was recorded in 1958. And they have successfully colonized New Zealand now and increased until today they're common both in the North Island and the South Island of New Zealand. They remind me of our barn swallows. The spurwing plover is an interesting bird that is quite common in New Zealand. In Australia, the same bird is called the masked lapwing. The silver eye is a pretty little bird, but it is hard to photograph because it is constantly moving. Luckily, they often come in flocks, so there's lots of them around to choose from, and sometimes you just are lucky and able to snap them before they've flown off again. The pied stilt is a joy to watch in shallow water. The white-fronted tern is native to New Zealand and the most common tern to be seen here. It's also reported from the southeastern part of Australia. The pukeko can often be seen walking along grassy water areas near roadways and in parks. In Australia, it's called the Australasian swamp hen. New Zealand has a number of different species of cormorants. Four of them are the Great Cormorant, the Campbell Island Cormorant, the Pied Cormorant, the Little Pied Cormorant, also known as a little shag. This little cormorant was drying its wings in the sun beside Lake Taupo on the North Island. There are no vultures in New Zealand, and there are no crows. And so if there's roadkill, the, the vultures and crows don't come and clean it up. It's the Australasian harrier, also known as a swamp harrier. This is the bird you find at the side of the road feeding on dead animals in New Zealand. The best known gull in New Zealand is the red-billed gull. It is a really pretty little gull. It's called a silver gull in Australia. It's a beautiful little gull, but it has a rasping, irritating voice. 
its red legs and red bill are very striking and very pretty. As we were eating at a restaurant outside, close to Cape Kidnappers, there were people beside us at another table. And when they left, it didn't take long, and here were <laughs> the silver gulls helping themselves to what was left over. The largest gull in New Zealand is the New Zealand black-backed gull, otherwise known as the kelp gull. In Canada, we have northern gannets. They're well known in Newfoundland. But in New Zealand, they have the Australasian gannet. This Australasian gannet was flying by when I was on Kapiti Island, and I photographed it as it flew by. Kapiti Island is just off the coast of the North Island. The South Island oyster catcher is actually misnamed because it's not only found on the South Island, it's found all over the North Island as well. So far I've shared with you 25 endemic birds and 25 native birds, 50 species in total. Now, there are also birds in New Zealand that are not natural to New Zealand. They have been introduced. Three species not native to New Zealand, but introduced, were not just introduced to New Zealand, but also to Australia, to North America, to parts of South America, Southern Africa, and even elsewhere in the world. And you probably know all of them. The first one is the pigeon. The second one is the house sparrow. And the third one is a starling. Other birds that were introduced to New Zealand either in the 1860s or the 1870s, were the European goldfinch, 1862-1863, the Eurasian blackbird, introduced from 1862 to 1875, the song thrush, introduced in the second half of the 1800s, And the chaffinch. These were introduced from Europe. A bird that was introduced from India is the mina. It is common on the North Island. It used to be common in the South Island as well, but it's very rare in the South Island now. There's also birds that were introduced from North America. One of them is the wild turkey introduced in 1890. Another one is the Canada Goose, introduced in 1876. 50 more birds were let free in 1905, and then some more in 1920.
The California quail was first introduced in the 1860s and 1870s, with more releases from New Zealand bred stock now. This female quail was photographed in the vicinity of Taupo. The black swan is very beautiful and very common in New Zealand. It was first introduced from Australia in 1864 and 1868. They spread quickly. It's believed that some may have arrived naturally in 1867 by flying across the Tasman Sea, but they were already introduced three years earlier. The babies are white. Two other birds that were introduced from Australia are the Eastern Rosella a very pretty parakeet, and the Australasian magpie. Two introduced waterfowl are the feral gray lag goose, and of course, the mallard duck. To end this presentation, I want to go back to the New Zealand fantail, one of my favorite birds in New Zealand. I'll show you a short video of one that followed me while I was walking the trail through the native forest in Hari Hari, New Zealand, which is located on the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand. You can see more pictures of birds that I've taken in other places on my website, www.ger153.com.